the days that we have that may not be good days uh, do not outnumber the days that we have that are fantastic days or the, the work that the men and women do on a daily basis, saving lives on a regular basis, doing a fantastic job, treating people with dignity and respect. There is a lot more of that than the bad days that we have. So it's at, at, at this point in, in our careers, um, you know, we've gone to so many different retirements, but now the yeah. retirements are starting to trickle out uh, with people that we you know, went through the entire service with our whole careers with, and so now it becomes just a, a little bit more bittersweet than it, than it used to be in the past. So um, it, it's uh, it's a reminder that, that it's been a long time, 30 plus years, and, and seeing uh, really good officers who um, understood the importance of community relationships before it became a buzzword, and, and that, that was Donnie's, uh, Donnie's success. Donnie could always uh, get people together in the room and, and resolve problems and that was something that, that gravitated me to Don. He's always got the best smile in the world and, and, uh, and really knew how to talk to people and, and that's a that's a craft that you, you, you might have. not believe him. Maybe he's yeah. going to talk to stay. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's a craft that you have really well you don't have and, and, and Don, he was one of those that, that has always had it. So he really understood the importance of what policing was right from the start. It, it takes a lot of people years to have experience to understand relationship building is the key to success and Donnie got it from day one. <laughs> At the same time it's a humbling experience going through this this process of uh, leaving the service something that I've uh, uh, that I've, pr I've been proud to say that I'm a police officer in in every venue that I've been to all over the world. This is a, a complex city that we police we have 5200 police officers we testify in thousands and thousands of cases this goes back to a case from I think it's 2014 um, so it, we're gonna have like it or not we're gonna have issues at times from time to time and this is just a an issue that we're gonna have to deal with this has been a terrible week for you know all the police officers in the city you know when we hear stuff about fellow officers getting convicted of attempt murder when you hear about fellow officers uh, you know getting charged it's just the nature of those type of charges something like perjury it, it, they're very serious charges that trouble all police officers uh, there's work to be done and I've never said that you know we're gonna hang our laurels on what you know that we're a great service the great service has to be considered great through what they do um, one of the measures is when things go wrong what do you do the you dust you need to get up and fix it and move things in the right direction the answer is yes and that's what we will continue to do